In this video, we'll go over a really cool way to speed up your wireframing process. Since wireframes are by nature iterative, you probably make a lot of changes as you go. This often involves deleting controls and replacing them with different ones. It can be a pain to have to retype the content into each new control. Now you don't have to with our transform control feature. Let's look at a basic example. Here we have a simple form, but we want to make some changes. I think a combo box control makes more sense here. Just right click and select transform and type or select the control you want to change it to. There, now it's a combo box and we haven't lost the text we wrote in it. You can see that the properties have updated as well. It also works on multiple controls at once. Let's try it on these checkboxes. We'll select them both and use the shortcut Control or Command and T to bring up the transform dialog. We'll make them radio buttons instead. You can transform controls multiple times and undo any of your changes along the way. Let's look at one last way to transform controls. We'll select this text box and turn it into a longer text area. There's a small arrow in the property inspector that brings up the same transform box, giving you another place to transform controls. There. Now it's a text area. So now let's see what we can do with some different types of controls. Here's a set of tabs for navigation with the first tab selected. Let's change it to a link bar and see what it looks like. Notice how the first link stays selected. Let's try a menu bar instead. You can always use the auto size button to resize if it gets cropped. Finally, let's see how you can use this feature to create a rough visual outline before anything else. Here's a mobile app idea for an audio player using only rectangles. This can be useful to establish a visual hierarchy before thinking about any specific controls. Now let's start transforming. We'll make this an image for the cover art. And this a progress bar. Now some playback controls and a volume slider. We can adjust the sizing and alignment as we go. And now a track list. Let's mock up some data here. Now let's set the song title up here as a line of text. Notice that if I type something in here, it automatically transforms to a subtitle control. There. There are a lot more ways you can speed up your workflow by transforming controls on the fly. So try it out for your next project. Happy wireframing!